hi guys welcome back to my channel hope you're doing well today today we are doing a product review and we are reviewing the kylie cosmetics skin tint i got this in a recent haul i'll have that linked somewhere and yeah and yeah i'm just super excited to try it i want to do a little bit of a wear test so we can just see the vibe i love a skin tint so i'm excited well, i'd love it if you can like and subscribe it'd mean an awful lot to me and yeah let's get into it okay so i did wait a little while for this i think when i ordered it i ordered it on the day it like came out or was released in the uk and i got it like two and a half weeks later i did email the customer service team and they were really lovely and um, they just said there was a bit of a delay and when it arrived it's got stickers i'll show it to you so it's got stickers basically like on the packaging so it's obvious that they obviously had a bottle issue that they resolved i'm fine with that my sticker's wonky it's not the wonkiest but this wasn't cheap and yeah i just wish the sticker was a little bit straight and every time i look at it it bothers me but let's review the actual skin tint i got 2c in this and it comes with this kind of like a nozzle which I think is very similar to the Kosis one. I saw Jeffrey Star do a little review and yeah, he showed them side by side. I think it's like the beam thing and they look very similar. But packaging, is any of it original? Hardly ever. So yeah, we're gonna do a little wear test of this today. I'm gonna show you the color on the back of my hand. I'm filming in front of, I've got a little light here, but I'm filming in like natural lighting. So this is it, and yeah, I got 2C, and that's how it kind of blends out on my hand. It feels nice, and it does look like on the back of my hand quite blurring, so I'm excited. I'm gonna do a little wear test of this today. I'm not doing too much today. It's currently three o'clock in the afternoon and I basically need to run some errands. I need to tidy my flat and hoover. Um, Liam, my bestie, is coming to stay. So I need to just like do like house things. I might go on a little walk. Yeah, just like daily activities, nothing crazy. So, like this isn't gonna be full coverage it's a skin tint but i'm gonna com be comparing against my other favorites like the l'oreal true match serum it wears really nice all day and so that's kind of where i'm gonna be like pitting this against we're gonna see how it can like compares in my mind um so yeah i primed my skin so my skin is all like ready for this and i'm just going to I guess just a little bit on. This is like the height of summer for me. And even though I don't look like I have colour, this is the like brownest slash bronziest I get. I'm a pale girly. So yeah, but this is skin tint, so I'm, expe I'm expecting it to kind of sheer out because it looks quite Casper at the moment. Okay, so let's buff this out okay it's not um super like shiny which actually is quite nice because so i do have like a lot of hydrating skin tint so actually having something that is like a bit like m more matte is actually quite a nice option I do feel like this colour is good for me. Like I said, I think it's a bit pale for me now. But I don't think it's like too pale. And I think with like a bronzer and stuff it will be fine. Like my face is actually quite red. So when I put on products that like cancel out the red. I'm like, am I actually that pale? But I am. It's nice. It's not too um, like yellow. 
the foundation that she bought out is it the power power the power plush one i think that's what it's called that even though i got in a cool undertone was really yellow so i do feel like this is like a true like cool undertone which i enjoy for saying i bought a 2c i would say it's got decent coverage for a skin tint i actually really like the finish like i said it's matte but like not drying which is good i do have dry skin so but if this wears well like when my like natural kind of oil start to come through if this kind of works well with that then yeah and i actually like the coverage i like having skin tints which are almost like barely there then i also like having skin tints where there's coverage and it's definitely blanked out all my redness but you can still see some of my like freckles and like marks that i have yeah i kind of like this i actually really like the finish i just hope this wears well but i'm thinking because it's matte it will but i've got to like put it to the test i'm gonna go in with some of my kylie concealer this is the power plush concealer in 2c as well and i'm just gonna put on a little bit through here i don't want to put on too much um, I might not even... No, I am. I need to put some on around my nose. I'm a sneezy girl and it's summer. So I'm just going to buff this out. I really love this concealer. It is kind of something that I do grab quite a lot. More for when I'm... More for when I'm doing a bit more of a glam look. I day to day prefer more of a concealer serum but that's just like my preference but this is definitely something kind of along with my like hmb that i grab when i'm doing like either a glam look or just a, i want something that is like full coverage but ever since i've got this i've yeah really enjoyed this i probably wear this concealer more than i do the foundation because this tone is like better for me than the foundation yeah and those products have worked really nice together i feel like that's just given me that little bit more like brightness and like a little bit more coverage where i kind of need it okay i'm gonna go off i'm gonna do everything else what i do have um, to put on is the Kylash. I have been using this a lot since I got it. So I'm going to put it on with you. And um, I did get the wispy one as well. But I'm a chunky girl. Like a, I love a clumpy, chunky, like a volumizing lash. And this Kylash like does that. Um, I put off getting this for so long because I found it quite expensive. So when I saw they brought out a mini, I was like okay we love a mini let's try it out i actually do think i would purchase this in the big size so yeah so i'm gonna go away i'm just gonna put on some like bronzer bring some life back to this face and we will come back for mascara okay so everything went really nicely on with that skin tint i feel like all my like cream products worked really well with it and yeah I feel like it really has like blurred like when I'm looking at my skin it looks like very diffused which is always a plus so yeah we're gonna go in with the kite lash and, and this is what the brush looks like it's like just a kind of bristly brush but I just love it's quite a dry formula like from the get-go which is my like personal favourite. There's been a few mascaras that I've enjoyed, but I've had to like wait for them to get dry. And that's like never, like I don't have to wait to make it work. So that's just with like one kind of coat. And I just think it makes your eyelashes look really nice. It is, yeah, I would say more of like a clumpier, volumizing situation but that's my favorite and it does still lengthen like it's definitely not like just volumizing you can see the difference i just think it's a really nice mascara i'm gonna do the other side 
and it doesn't transfer which is nice like which i guess is like a must from a mascara like nobody wants panda eyes at the end of the day and i just find it builds quite nice and then lastly for lips, I mean, this is quite glam for errands, but I've got the Kylie Lip Liner in Kylie. And I really enjoy the, the formula. I know this is what, like, Kylie is, like, famous for. But the formula is... The formula is good. The lip liner, and then I'm just going to go in with, like a non Kylie lip gloss this is cinnamon roll by NYX but I just love the tone and it pairs really nice with that lip liner okay yeah this is quite glam <laughs> for errands but let's see let's see how this wears I have high hopes for this I did powder this down um, I use my Jordana t-shirt setting pad. I just use the top bit. So, yeah, we'll see. I'll probably check back in in maybe like three hours. It's a skin tint. It's not going to be like super, super long wearing. But, I mean, it still should look nice after six hours. It shouldn't look bad. I shouldn't look like I've got nothing on my face. My L'Oreal one, which is my favourite, that one looks good after like... 10 hours it's a really like good long lasting one but yeah it does say it's a weightless pop-ups it's a weightless fluid tint light to medium coverage which i agree um a second skin finish it's got hyaluronic acid proves skin hydration and smooth pores fine line and texture with up to 12 hours of wear 12 hours and doesn't separate or get patchy vegan and clean so miss kylie say in 12 hours i was gonna give it six so i'm actually gonna come back in, i'm gonna come back in three and then i'm also gonna come back in six and even maybe before i go to bed and let's see what i look like but yeah so far so good i really liked how it applied i really did enjoy the color it does feel super lightweight like i really don't feel like i've got much on my skin at all so, so yeah, high hopes. Um, keep watching for my check-ins. Hi guys, so it is about, about three and a half hours later. My skin looks flawless. Three and a half hours later, I have touched up my lips but i've not touched up anything else i'm shocked i look so like flaw like airbrushed i went and did like a food shop and then i came back and i like look in, looked in the mirror and i was like like this after like three and a bit hours i mean i'm a bit sweaty i've got a bit of a sula but it's not breaking down and to be honest i haven't had a very bad allergy day today but around my nose seems like really okay and um, it is only three and a half hours but i am very pleasantly surprised it has kind of got a bit of a glow which is what i hope so when you first put it on it is like very matte but actually, that's quite nice because then I feel like it's, like, gonna stay. Sometimes when I do wear, like, very um, dewy products, obviously I just know that I either have to set it well or that it will wear off quicker than, like, a matte, like, set product. But, yeah, three and a half hours and I feel like this could be a new favorite i am like so pleasantly surprised i'm i'm actually shocked i didn't think it'd be this nice um so i'll check in another three hours so then that would be like six hours um well six and a half hours and yeah we'll see if i'm still feeling the same but yeah 
it is late it's like half 10 11 so this makeup has been on for a very long time i've just put on my like big light just to show you guys can we take a moment obviously i'm very oily it's like end of the day i haven't powdered once no powder no touch-ups um and yeah i think my skin i mean my lips look a bit crusty dusty i think my skin looks stunning like i'm very impressed let me just look in the mirror yeah it's still very blurred obviously it has settled into my lines a bit like around my mouth but like what makeup doesn't and it probably has broken up a little bit on my chin and i have like eaten dinner and all that stuff but this kind of middle section for saying that i haven't touched up i am shooketh if you're a skin tint girly i would definitely recommend even if you're just a medium foundation girly i would recommend um obviously it's not full coverage but it's so blurring and i like even though my oils have come through i don't look like a sweaty mess i mean i don't look great but it is like night i do have a spot coming in here but can you just see and my eyes are like i look a bit worse for wear but can you see there's this like under here just looks great so yeah i'd recommend if you're thinking of getting it get it if you weren't thinking of getting it maybe i've convinced you i would even say it's a little bit more blurring than my l'oreal one could this be a new favorite my l'oreal one my l'oreal true match has been a firm favorite for years but i'm impressed very very impressed like always i'll link all the kylie products that i use down below um thank you for watching and following out following along in this little wear test yeah i'm mesmerized by my own skin which which is what we want um yeah hope you have a fab evening or morning or whatever time of day it is you're watching me Hopefully see you again super soon. Thanks so much for watching and yeah, bye.